Even being the most cautious and careful driver, you cannot control events outside of your vehicle. That's why, like many other road users, you may experience dangerous and erratic drivers and remain helpless. But now, there is something you can do about it. With an in-car camera or dash cam, you can get another set of two eyes to keep a video record of what occurred and when during your journey to identify dangerous drivers and avoid paying for their irresponsible actions. Well, several companies are offering dash cams. Are you confused about which one to choose? If yes, then trust Rove R2 4K Dash Cam. Today's most advanced and powerful 4K video card dash camera with new advanced features that can keep ahead of its competitors. The Rove R2 4K Dash Cam can record Ultra HD videos up to a resolution of 2160p whereas its revolutionary super night vision technology with a new advanced Sony Starvis sensor helps to get unmatched clear footage and images from the recording even in low light conditions. Moreover, you can have an undistorted video experience now with its new distortion correction algorithm feature. With its built-in Wi-Fi, you can use the Rove app to view and manage dash cam recordings instantly on your iOS and Android devices. By using the app, you can download the recorded 4K videos directly to your smartphone and then easily share these on social media with friends and family. Its built-in GPS enables you to view your driving route in the tracker on Google Maps and accurately record your driving locations and speed. Moreover, the revolutionary Rove R2 4K dash cam has state-of-the-art features such as F1.8 apertures, the largest in the industry. Auto-triggered parking mode makes the dash cam go into parking mode automatically when your car engine shuts off, 150-degree A-plus wide-angle lens, G-sensors, loop cycle recording, emergency video lock, time-lapse video, slow-motion video, and ensures an extended storage capacity by supporting up to 512GB Class 10 U3 speed micro SD card, which is the highest in the industry. Before choosing any dash cam, temperature guidelines are an essential factor that matters the most. Rove R2 4K is designed and tested to function and withstand extreme higher heat and cold temperatures geographically. It can work in extreme cold of negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit to extreme hot 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, the Rove R2 4K comes with a beautifully written professional user manual, which is easy to understand and detail-oriented for any dashcam enthusiast. It is easy to use and easy to install. Here one of our reviewers said, I am 91 years old and I love it. Easy to install and operate. If he can do it, then anyone can do it. At Rove, we provide how-to videos that will help you set up your dash cam in less than 3 minutes and explain all the features and details for under 30 minutes. On top of these, if you have any questions or concerns, we have a customer care team that is personalized and ready to help answer any questions or concerns or solve any issues that you may need help with. Purchasing the Rove R2 4K comes with an all-in-one package. You will get an advanced 4K video card dash camera that has a meticulously designed hardware and a custom-designed beautiful firmware. We provide free firmware upgrades, free iOS and Android app updates, free GPS player for PC and Mac, and free lifetime customer support that is backed by a one-year hassle-free warranty and 30-day money-back guarantee in case you have any doubts. All of these are from your local Chicagoland, Illinois company that you can trust. Rove R2 4K has so many advanced state-of-the-art features and technology packed in a single unit where R2 4K is all you need that won't break your bank. So please, choose today's powerful, compact, beautiful software, user-friendly, and most reliable 4K dash camera, and secure your drive to a safer future with Rove. got me an actual refrigerator from Joy Tesla. So let's first go ahead and unbox it and we'll look at it. All right, first of all, just cut this tape. I mean, it looks like it is packed well. Nice packed in this phone, which protects it so it's not gonna be beat up when we get it. All right, so the first thing we notice is it's a really nice, smooth surface. I mean, it's nice textured here. Um, a nice thing I like too is the handles over here. Open the top up. 
just a nice good door with a nice gasket so it seals down extremely well looks like it's like a magnetic and it also has this big heavy chain to hold it so it stops will be hurting the door breaking it back and then inside we have the bag of accessories let's open up the bag of accessories looks like we got a this is going to be our dc plug check it out the package oh yeah nice cord actually a real nice cord let's see what we got it else in the bag here owner's manual okay it looks like inside here we have the transformer which is 110 to 240 volts, 2.5 amp, and it, the output is 14.5, 6 amp. Plug in our 110 cord right here, right into a wall outlet. Plug this into the back when we're running off 110. All right, inside the cooler, man, it is, it's actually nice and deep. And then over here we have the display, peel this off. And one of the cool thing is that's really nice because we have a USB, so if I do have this in the back seat, and the back floorboard and the back of the truck or whatever out here meet what temperature you might you might want to put it at when you fahrenheit to celsius so minus three celsius on seafood 26 degrees fahrenheit is what you want to keep in vegetables tells you the different temperatures you'd want to keep stuff at and just adjust your display over here so your temperature to match i have my cord here to plug it in i have an extension cord run over there and we got it plugged in and when it powers up, it don't actually come on until you hold this button down for three seconds, the on off button. That will make it come on. And it shows the temperature. What it shows on this display is actually the temperature inside the unit. When you push the plus and minus, it will show the temperature that you're setting it at up and down as you change the, the temperature. Okay, so what we're gonna do is set a little th uh, temperature thermometer down inside it and then we'll see what the temperature will be inside it, see how accurate it is. And what we're gonna do now is turn it on. Hold it down for three seconds. Okay, now we're at we're 152 is the time right now. And it's it says it's 31 degrees. We got it set down all the way on uh, the lowest setting. So we can see how long it would take to get down there. Now it's displaying the 31 degrees, which is the temperature inside here. Okay, while we're waiting for the temperature to drop on this thing, I'll go ahead and go over a few of the other things I wanted to mention. That if you'll notice, it's running right now and it is extremely quiet. This thing, okay, now we've been 45 minutes. You can see this shows we've dropped down to minus eight inside here. Now I went ahead and put the remote inside here instead of using this. Uh, so it's gonna take a little bit to drop it down. So I'm sure it probably is minus eight in there, but this thing will take a little while to read and drop down. So uh, as you can see inside here, I have the remote part inside here and holy cow, yeah, it's definitely cold in here. Extremely cold, you can feel the walls. So really cold, I don't wanna leave it open too long and let any of the, too much of the cold air out. You can see it's starting to go back up just by opening it a little bit. So, and now this temperature inside here, uh, 45 minutes, it dropped down to minus eight already and uh, depending on what you put in this thing, if you have a lot of warm stuff and you put it in there, of course that time will vary. It's going to be longer to cool down everything in there. So, uh, which you won't be going down that cold anyway if you're chilling uh, pops and waters and things like that and lunch meat, stuff like that. So, only if you're wanting to freeze stuff. But you can go ahead and plug this thing in. Like we're going on a drive tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in let it be cool overnight and then tomorrow when i everything will be cool i'll plug it into the truck into the accessory outlet and then it will already be cooled down keep our stuff all cool all day and we'll try it out so see so you can see this is dropping it's already at 10 degrees it'll go down pretty fast i think okay guys temperature's way too cold but i went ahead and loaded it up and i still ain't full i put all this stuff in here and i still ain't full i got nine cans of pop i've got four bottles of water, I got four bottles of Gatorade, I've got a half gallon of milk, I got some pineapples, some pepperoni, some cheese, I mean everything for a trip tomorrow. And we still have room to put more stuff on top of this. It's ridiculous how much this holds. And the cool part is you can put all this in there because you don't have to waste room with ice. So very cool, very cool, I'm gonna love this. We're gonna keep this thing plugged in all night, change this temperature, and knock it here. We'll change this temperature up to about 34. 
So it'll be nice and cold. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Simon. And howdy, I'm Mark Newberger. We're the inventors of the original and patented vehicle seat gap filler, Drop Stop. We're here today to show you how to install your very own Drop Stop in your vehicle. Mark is gonna walk you through a very simple step-by-step -step installation process. So with no further delay, Mark, take it away. Please step into my office. Now, the first and most important step to installing your Drop Stop, the number one step is to put this seat back, this part of your seat, all the way back like this to where it's almost flat. If you don't do this, it makes it very difficult to install. And as you can see, it opens up the gap area and makes it very easy to get your hands down. Also notice I'm sitting in the opposite seat. If you sit in the same seat you're installing in, your butt's gonna push that seat cushion up against the gap and make it also very difficult to install. Now, the next step is to use Drop Stop's patented seat belt slot right here. It goes around the seat belt, just like this. So that's the first thing. You push your hands like this all the way down so you get it all the way to the bottom of that belt. Then, because drop stop's squishy and stretchy, you stretch it, you pull it tight all the way from the front like this. And while it's tight, you push it down like this and make it super streamlined. Push it down in the back, put the seat back, back up, and just like that in seconds, you're never dropping anything again. And it moves back and forth with your seat because it's always attached to that belt. Thank you so much for your support. And remember, don't drop and drive.
Hi, Scott here from Portland, Oregon, getting ready to go on another road trip, this time to Moab, Utah, which is over a 2,000 mile round trip. I like to be prepared when I'm on the road for emergencies. I like a brand that I can trust, like AAA. I like a product that I can depend on, like a AAA premium 42 piece road kit. And I want products that I can use, like a heavy duty eight gauge booster cables, flashlight with fresh batteries, and a basic first aid kit. Uh, I also want something that stows easily in my car so I have access to it if I happen to need it. Be prepared for life.